so once again, this is on the test, all right? And it's worth many points. You're talking about one point for finding the slope using the slope formula, another point for rewriting in point slope form, another point for standard, another point for slope intercept. So let's start uh, by finding the slope of these guys using the slope formula. So I'm going to label it x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2. So now that we've labeled them, we need to know the actual slope formula. And the actual slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Whoops, why did I do that with that color? Let me change this. x1. Okay. Now, the reason why I wrote it uh, with different colors is because whenever you apply the slope formula, it's a great idea to start with the division and the subtractions, and then you get your uh, values and plug them in to the empty spaces. So y2, as you could see up here, is negative 7. y1, as you could see up here, is negative 1. x2 is 6. And x1 is 4. So when we work this out, the top minus minus changes to plus plus, and we end up with a negative 7 plus 1, and that is a negative 6 up there. And on the bottom, 6 take away 4 is 2, which means that our slope is actually negative 3. Yay? Okay, so we get one point for that on tomorrow's test. Okay? So number one was to find the slope. Okay, so we're going to say m equals negative 3. That's an answer. You get a point for that. Now that we have a slope and some points, we could plug it into point-slope form. Okay, so first thing to do is to uh, write down what the point-slope form is. Let me zoom in so we could get a better look at these guys. Point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1 and I'm using colors so you guys could see how easily it gets plugged in so uh, we're gonna use since we have a y1 here no x1 there we're gonna use the x1 and y1 up here and I want you to do that on tomorrow's test also right use the x1 y1 technically you could use this one also but let's go with the x1 y1 since the formula has x1 right here and y1 right here so anyways we're gonna go back and we're gonna go y minus y1 what is y1 negative 1 equals m what's m negative 3 we just found that parentheses x minus what's x1 4 close parentheses and the only other thing we need to do is change the minus minus to plus plus and ladies and gentlemen this is another point right there because that's what they're asking for point slope form right we go back over here to the question Point slope form. There it is. Now the next question, the next point that we get is changing this guy once again either to standard or to slope intercept. I mean, I, I give the next one a standard. You don't have to. You can do slope intercept first, whatever you want. But the bottom line is standard form, and we should probably write this down right here. Standard form is uh, AX plus BY equals C. And slope intercept form is... Uh, y equals m x plus b and neither of those have parentheses the way point slope does so we need to get rid of those parentheses in other words we need to distribute negative 3 times x what's negative 3 times x 3x how about negative 3 times negative 4 uh, uh. What? Twelve. 12. Positive twelve. All right. Now let's bring down the minus or the equal sign. Bring down the y plus one. So, I don't know. It's I think it's really easy to go for slope intercept form first in this case because all you got to do is subtract one, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go for slope intercept. Now, if you do this, if you decide to go for slope intercept the way I'm doing it right now, y 
equals negative 3x plus 11. This is slope-intercept form. Be very careful because if you write down this answer as your number 3, it's going to be wrong because number 3 is standard form and what you did find was slope-intercept form. So be very careful that you write it in the correct uh, number spot on the answer to, on the test tomorrow. So uh, number 4, the slope-intercept form is right there. Okay, so we still need number three standard form. So you could either go back to the original on the point slope or you could use this new slope intercept. But the bottom line is we need standard form which has X's and Y's on the left side. Okay, so once again, standard form has X's and Y's on the left side of the equal sign. So I need to get this negative three and I need to move it to the left side. So just let me rewrite it so I could show my work here. Uh, I need to get rid of that negative 3. What am I going to do? Add 3x. So I'm going to have plus 3x on this side. I cannot add y plus 3x. So I'm just going to rewrite it. 3x plus y equals 11. Ta -da. That's my standard form. So that's a huge part of the test. Honestly, that's... Uh, that's like 20% of the test right there. Four points out of 20. Yeah. It's huge. Okay, so make sure you understand this, that you could do this. And it's a really easy way to bump up your, your grade. Uh, we have another one, almost identical. It's the same thing, just different points. So I'm going to pause it right here and give you guys some time to work on it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, ready or not. We're going to start by, as you can see, I already labeled x1, y1, x2, y2. We're going to start by looking at these two coordinates, labeling them, and then using the slope formula to find the actual m. So y2 happens to be 8. y1 happens to be negative 2. x2 happens to be negative 3. And x1 happens to be negative 5. So we have a plus plus and a plus plus. So our final slope here is going to be m equals 10 over 2. Well, that works out nice. I thought it was going to be a fraction. So m equals 5. That's our slope. So the m value is 5. You get one point for that. And then... Uh, we need to go to point slope form. That's the easiest, especially because we already have the first point and we have the slope that we just found. So I'm going to zoom in right here. And there's my point slope form that everybody should have memorized. And we're going to plug in those values y minus y1, which happens to be a negative 2, equals m which happens to be 5 that we just found using the slope formula, parentheses x minus x1, which is negative 5 up there. And those minus minus need to change the plus plus. And this is what you would write in your answer spot for a point slope form. Okay. After that, you want to get rid of the parentheses um, to write it either in standard form or slope intercept. So I'm going to distribute. I'm going to take this 5, 5 times x is 5x, and then distribute 5 times 5, that's 25. Then I'm going to bring down the equal sign, bring down the y plus 2. And then, uh, if I wanted in slope-intercept form first, because all I need to do is get rid of this guy, you would subtract 2 to both sides. So you'd have your final slope-intercept form equation, y equals... 5x plus 23. That's slope intercept form. And we still need a uh, standard form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c. You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, so this one was point slope form up there. Uh, this one's slope intercept y equals mx plus b. And we also need standard form, which is ax plus by equals C. So we want the X's and Y's on the left side of the equal sign and the numbers on the right. 
So I need to take this 5x and move it over to the other side. So if I were to subtract 5x from here and subtract 5x with the y, you'll have negative 5x plus y equals 23. Now, keep in mind that uh, the standard form equations on tomorrow's test, because on the, on the book, they have the a values being positive. So this negative 5, we need to change it to a positive 5 by multiplying everything by negative 1. So this whole thing by negative 1, that'll change it to a positive 5x minus y equals negative 23. And this is your standard form. Okay, so once again, make sure you write the correct answers in the right spot. So the point slope form, this one is this equation right there. The standard form is this one right here for number three. And the slope intercept is this one, the y equals 5x plus 23. That one right there, that's slope intercept form. I know it's messy, I apologize. Um, this is only the last eight questions of the test tomorrow. We have 12 questions, more than half, coming from your worksheets from the previous days this week. That's where, like, I tell you, here's a slope, here's a y-intercept, write it, write the equation in standard form. Uh, or maybe I give you a graph and you need to look at the slope and the y-intercept and write it in slope-intercept form or standard form or whatever other form I ask you for. So make sure that you don't only watch this video and understand this video, but go back and, and do all your other uh, worksheets because I'm selecting straight from them. And also watch the other videos that I've done previously this week.